Greetings, critical viewers. We're here with Slender. I'm playing it for the first time. I've heard many good things about it. I've heard it's a really scary game. Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Slender the Eight Pages. This is a game that came out six years ago, and we're playing it this Sunday for Still Scary Sunday, the series in which we play older horror games and see whether or not they hold up in 2019. This is probably the most infamous horror game from the era. Uh, it's a game in which you're pursued by Slender Man through a forest, and you have to collect eight pages in order to beat the game. So let's go ahead and check it out. I actually never beat this when I originally played it. In fact, I only played it, like, maybe twice. I didn't really get into this one. I didn't see the big deal. I still don't. But we'll see. Maybe there's aspects to it that I uh, overlooked the first time. So this was originally titled Slender, but uh, they added the eight pages subtitle to differentiate it from other Slender games that came out shortly thereafter. Collect all eight pages. This is so simple. It was made in Unity. Uh, the typeface, I believe, is PW Chalk. I knew that people were gonna ask. The thing with chalk typefaces is that they all just look the same. Anyway. Now, if I remember correctly, there's usually one under this big ass tree right here. There's not. I don't know actually if they're randomly placed or what. Ugh, oh, it's one of these games where when you run, he ducks the flashlight. So here's the first thing that you encounter, the truck. And here is the first page. Can't run. <laughs> Whoa, you can zoom in? That's weird. I don't remember that. Pages one out of eight. And let the games begin. I was always fascinated by this idea that Slenderman really didn't want you to collect these pages. I'm not sure why. I'm not like an expert on the Slender Man mythos, because frankly, it doesn't interest me that much. But I don't remember anything in the lore about like, oh, he has a phobia of pages. Found another abandoned vehicle. If I was the character in this game, I would take this as a hint to uh, get out of this damn forest, but. We got ourselves a dummy brain right here. Wants to collect all the pages. There should be one on the, on the back right here. No! What am I talking about? Oh, here it is. Leave me alone. Oh. Wait, wait. I think we were kind of- Oh! There he is! Oh! There he is! Run away. So, I, I remember this. Every time you run, it decreases your maximum stamina, which I think is a little messed up, personally. Then again, that kind of reinforces the note of can't run. I think what made this game scary for a lot of people back in the day was the constant thrumming footsteps in the background. Oh, he's after me, damn. That Tyrannosaurus Rex footstep sound. That gets like louder, I think, or quicker, or both, as the game goes on. There he is. And you can turn the flashlight off. But I'm not sure why you want to do that. I get that it saves battery, but... Man, this is an uneventful game. In comparison to today... You gotta remember, this was before Outlast and... A lot of the more like, uh... Wait, we're back at this truck. A lot of the more like, high action horror games came out. Alien Isolation... Things that kinda... Upped the standard a bit. Is he still behind me? Wait, am I running towards him right now? Dude, I totally was. Okay. Can you catch me while I'm walking? There he is. 
I just wanted to check and make sure, sure he was still behind me. Why is he keeping his distance? You'd think he'd just go for it if me collecting pages bothers him that much. Oh, see, here's a tunnel. I remember this one. There's definitely a page in here. There it is. What does this one say? Help me. There we go. Yeah, this is what did it. This is what did it back in uh, 2013 or whenever this was. And for what it's worth, it is kind of cool that it has that escalation. I think the fog gets thicker the more pages you find, too. That's kind of interesting. I guess in that sense, the game escalates very well, you know? Okay, so we got a fork in the road right here. I'll take a left. We got some kind of structure here. It's just a brick wall, huh? There's a page somewhere around here. There it is, page number four. What does it say? Follows. He is following me. <laughs> it's not like the pages have any pertinent information on them or anything. <laughs> Why does he care? Okay, hang on. Where is he? I'm gonna cut through the forest, actually. What? Wait, where am I? Oh no. I kind of flung the mouse. I think you do have a battery life, don't you, on the flashlight? You know, that's kind of interesting. Normally a game like this would have a stamina bar for your sprinting, and it would also have, like, a flashlight battery bar on the screen, but this... This game has no UI whatsoever. Dude, I don't see anything. Here we go. Oh no, there's several of them. Where do you suppose it is? Where's the page? It was over there. Weird. There it is. I found it. Page number five. No, 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 no. There we go. <laughs> okay, here's another place. There's definitely gonna be a page in here. It's the bathrooms. But where is it? Dude, it's not in here. Oh! No, it's in there for sure. I just missed it. Oh. I might get caught here. I don't know the layout at all. Oh, come on. Oh, this is a dead end. go straight. Where's the page? Have I walked? I must have, I must have walked past it. I 
just completely missed it. Okay, I know it's not in there. There it is. Pages six out of eight. Never made it this far. Pretty sure, at least. Where do I go now? I think I go back. Oh, no! There was no warning. Usually the screen gets all, like, increasingly staticky. Nothing happened there. Huh. Maybe I just don't remember how to play. Alright guys, now we're gonna be playing a Slender spin-off known as Slenderman Shadow. Now, you guys may know this on YouTube as Slender Sanatorium. It's actually not the same developer as the original Slender the Eight Pages game. This spin-off was created by Mark Steen, who also created many other maps like Slender Hospice, Slender Elementary, Slender Mansion, Carnival. I think there were like eight or nine maps like that, but they were not created by the original Slender the Eight Pages developer. That was uh, Mark Hadley. So two different Marks, and these were actually made in FPS Creator. I believe that the updated version was Created using Unity. Always watching. So just like, just like the original one, you collect pages, but it's in a different environment. And this was the first map that was released. I believe it was fall 2012. Or maybe summer, I can't remember. But these were all over YouTube at the time. People couldn't get enough of Slender the Eight pages, so. I remember playing this back when it came out. I think I actually beat this one. I think I got all eight pages. Hard to remember though. It is a little different than the original game, obviously. Same sound effects, same feeling of escalation. Very different map. Right now I've got the flashlight, but I can turn it off. And the place is just as well lit, so that's a little strange if you ask me. We haven't even seen Slender Man yet. There's another one. Took my girl, now coming for me. Alright. Where is he? See, in this one, I feel like a lot of the subtlety is lost from the original game. There's no fog. Your vision isn't like slowly obscured more and more like it was in the original. Here we go, third page. It came from the forest. The gameplay is also a lot quicker in these, which made them very popular on YouTube. This is like the world's most boring map though, to be honest. There he is. See, there's no... Like, the static effect is really downplayed here. He's really following us at a distance. Why does Slender Man prefer hanging out in abandoned places? You'd think he'd want to flex his supernatural muscles and get into some brawls with these people that keep stealing his pages. I want to see Slender Times Square. <laughs> Just imagine the havoc there. Okay, here we go. Out of sight, not out of mind. So that's the fourth page. Here we go, here's another one. No escape. <laughs> oh, you cheater! 
What a cheater! You collected five out of eight pages. Continue. Uh, no thanks. We got a couple more of these to get to. Okay, guys, this is the second map. This is Slender Hospice. And I believe this one was released about a week after the first one. Maybe two weeks. If that gives you any idea of how quickly these were made. I remember these were all over YouTube in 2012. Complete the poem. <laughs> they tried to get a little more creative here. Uh, these were all over the place on YouTube. And I think... I think it really speaks to... The demand really outstripping the supply for indie horror games really early on. Because people just wanted more and more and more. But there weren't enough games really to satisfy all the... All the cravings that people had. And so then you had series like this. Save me. Two out of 16 lines discovered. Was that two lines? Save me was definitely one line. Weird. It's, it's weird to think about now. Because... Okay, here we go. Slow, painful death. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. We got an angsty one here. It's weird to think about today because like, there are plenty of um, fad horror games that come along, but I don't think people would really latch on to it like this today if they just came out with different versions of the same map. I don't think it would have taken off like this did back in, you know, six years ago. Is that a door? Oh. Was it locked? Could I have opened it? Oh, boy. <laughs> I forgot that that was there. <laughs> uh, are there other YouTubers on the wall around here? Oh. Someone got mad and broke open the wall. I've just been going to the right this entire time. This map is huge. Needlessly large, I think, is how I would describe it. Here we go. Always hunting. See, it keeps telling me that I've got two lines. <laughs> Suck. Oh, that's funny. It keeps saying that I get two lines for what is clearly one line of dialogue for the poem that we're constructing. Also, I don't think they really put any effort into the poem. Because <laughs> may I just say, it's not very good. Okay, I think we're back at the- oh my god, there it is. Hang on, hang on. We'll look at it in a second. Eats you alive. We gotta look at the wall of YouTubers. There they are. <laughs> it's like a time capsule. Wow. Okay, we were- we were slacking too much, I guess. Oh well, I saw what I needed to see. What? Wait, what? Oh my god. Oh, so wait the lines on the actual pages weren't the lines from the poem. Oh, we got to read these. Oh, should I travel through the woods or should I not wishing I would? For above me lurks within the trees. No one could hear my deathly screams. The palest man, the blackest suit. Bigger than the tallest brute. Six black arms will grab you up or stalk you till you just give up. <laughs> oh. oh my god, next game. All right, guys, this is the third map. Slender Elementary, which was also released like a week or two after Hospice. I actually remember liking this one, I think, the most. It takes place in a school, I remember that. And you actually don't collect pages. 
However, the map... <laughs> find eight teddy bears, there it is. Ah, you spoiled the surprise. The map is very similar to hospice. And I think we play as a child because we're, we're much uh, shorter. Okay. What does that say? Oh, I don't have time to read this. Let's look for teddy bears. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Tree.png out there. Oh man. Here we go. That's not a teddy bear. That's just an arm. Wow. There's a teddy bear impaled on the wall. One out of eight pieces collected. Dude, let's go. So yeah, as you can see, um, what the lights on now? As you can see, uh, there wasn't a whole lot of innovation between these maps. I think the philosophy was, don't fix what ain't broke. You can't hide is what it says. Oh, come on. Here we go, there's another one. Don't get out of breath, kid. You're, <laughs> you got a long way to go. I don't have a flashlight either. Hmm. Man, this school got cleaned out. Oh, <laughs> tricked ya. You thought it was gonna be a teddy bear, but it is an impaled man, actually. No way. This is unfair. Oh, we're screwed. It's just at the end of this long hallway. We're gonna have to juke him hard in the next room. Unless he just doesn't come in here for some reason. Okay, there's another one over here. Number four. <laughs> Somebody lost their head. Ah. You can tell that they really tried to make the environment more horrifying in this one. I will find you. However, I think I liked, I don't know. I kind of liked reading the notes that you find, the pages. Did I already get that one? Oh. Whatever. I like the idea of picking up the teddy bears, but... There's something kind of missing... When you don't read the pages. Ah... Uh, it's another corpse. Here we go, there's another one. I'm doing pretty well for someone that doesn't give a shit. <laughs> we gotta go through the center now. I was very far away from him. Alright. Alright, let's go on to the uh, final one that I have for you guys. Slender Mansion. A man stalked for months by the Slender Man has fallen into a deep coma due to Slender Sickness. Trapped in his mind, he is taken back to a place dear to him, his childhood home. Well, I guess my computer's just too fast. So, I never actually played Slender Mansion, I don't think. At least, I have no memory of it. But, uh, this one was released, again, a week, maybe two, after the third one. They were just being cranked out like crazy. Find 12 mementos. Press space to drop a glow stick. We had that in the last one, I just never did it. Twelve mementos? What does that mean? I picked up a key. Huh, so there's like additional gameplay to this one. It's not just... Find the things. Is this phone? It is! It's a memento! Wow. Okay, you wanna go downstairs? I got a key. This door requires a key to open. Well, I have a. What? That's not intentional. What? Slender Mansion. We're gonna we're gonna try that again. All right. 
Uh, he is not alone. Slender Man has followed him. Can you find enough childhood mem mementos to break out the coma, or will he find you and kill your mind, trapping you in eternal darkness? Slender Man needs to get a hobby, I think. He's a little too invested in what other people are doing. So yeah, these are all the free maps that I'm playing right now. Is this a memento? But it's just like the other one. Uh, I think after they released all of them, like there was 7th Street, Prison, Carnival, there were a lot of them. It was released as like a $7 game all together. All right. And I always thought it was kind of weird because Slender the Eight Pages was just a free game. And that was what this entire series of maps was based on. So I thought it was a little weird that they were selling it. But uh, the developer Mark Steen actually went on to make The Curse of Blackwater, which is just a joy to play through. And I'm not sure what happened after that, to be honest. Got a key. Can I pick these up? What's a memento and what's not? <laughs> Having difficulty figuring that one out. Go down here. Oh, it opens. We actually get to go to a different area. A different area that looks exactly the same. Okay, so this is the basement. Man, this should be called Slender Basement. This basement is huge. Wait, it's not a basement, it's the ground floor. <laughs> oh, is that a memento? What is it? What is it? You know, now that I'm playing it, I actually do remember this one, but I don't think I ever posted a video of it. Because it was pretty hard. It was harder than the other maps. Oh my god, there he is. Long ass arms. I'm sorry, are there supposed to be 12 mementos? Is that one? What is- it's a cookie! <laughs> what? <laughs> that was like a printout of a cookie. Wasn't even a real cookie. Oh, frying pan! Oh, come on! I can't believe I never played this. I think this may be where Slender Man's shadows started to lose the plot a little bit. I do remember after this, they became a little less popular. It was mostly like the first three maps that I saw in heavy rotation around YouTube. You know, you could say that I'm bad at Slender games, but I like to think that they're just kind of poorly balanced. You guys saw what happened at the end of the last one. Like, he was nowhere near me. What was... I don't even know what I picked up. One thing that would have been cool for these is if the soundtrack changed. Because it's just kind of the same... It's the same uh, music every time. I think they could have mixed it up a little bit. Oh, I forgot the phone. Five out of 12 mementos. Where's he at? He around? Oh, come on. You gotta get really far away from him. Damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pardon me. He's got his other four arms out. <laughs> oh boy. You gonna follow me? I think it just kind of randomly teleports. Is this a memento? It is. Oh, I thought the music stopped for a second. We got half the mementos. Doing real well. There's one. Must have missed it. Oh, you better buck up. Out of breath. Your life's on the line, man. Let's see Slender Man outrun a car. This piano chord is just being 
drilled into my brain right now. Oh my god. No, I wanted to see... I wanted to see the Hall of Fame. All the famous YouTubers. Ah. Was I up there? The answer is no. Alright guys, well, I think that about does it for this video. We played the original Slender the Eight Pages, and then we played four of the spin-off maps for Slenderman's Shadow. I think these games aged quite poorly, and it's not surprising, but I am glad that I went and experienced them firsthand again. It's just they're too slow. Not enough happens, they're too simple, and it's just a product of the time, you know? I think Games now just have, they have such a burden of expectation on them that wasn't there uh, seven years ago. So, yeah, there's just, there's not much here. It was good for the time, but it's like, if you have a friend who's just getting into horror games, I wouldn't recommend that they play these, even if it's kind of like, I guess it could be considered a classic in the sense that it, it was extremely popular and it helped revolutionize uh, indie horror games. But I'm gonna pose a question. Was Slender the Eight Pages really all that impactful? I don't think it was. I think that Amnesia the Dark Descent, PT, and Five Nights at Freddy's were undoubtedly three of the most influential horror games to come out in the past 10 years. I don't think I could put this game on the list, even with its immense popularity and and it got a lot of people excited about horror games again. It just it didn't it didn't do enough with the with the premise. And I don't I don't think it was ever intended to be a revolutionary horror game or anything. It was just a a free little horror game with a popular creepypasta character. But I guess I'd kind of built it up in my mind that like Slender the Eight Pages was on that influential list. And I don't think it is upon retrospect. This really didn't influence all that much. I think it had a considerable immediate influence in that after it came out, the original Eight Pages game, there were tons of copycats. Like, <laughs> we just played four of them. But you know what I mean? Like, for the next year to two years, a lot of horror games incorporated uh, Collect X items as at least an objective, maybe in a larger game. And some even went full you know, horror roguelike, like this one did, where that's the entire game, you know, and then if you die, you start over. But I haven't seen any lasting influence from this. And maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you see things a little different than I do, so feel free to let me know in the comments what you think about this. But I'm, I'm pretty meh on Slender the Eight Pages. I was pretty meh on it when it came out, uh, from what I remember, uh, and these, these extra maps as well. And I'm, I think I'm even more meh on it today than I was. And I've played a lot of these games on Still Scary that I think hold up surprisingly well that are almost as old as this. So it's just very interesting to see. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought. And if you want to see more Still Scary videos, there's a playlist in the description. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Thank you for watching. And critically.